Hi everybody, how you doing again? Alright, I just back at this house and today it's going to be a change of plans. Uh, we're going to work on the electrical service today. Reason being is because the client saw a sale on the service panels and so they decided, well, let's get this electrical in and I don't blame them. We could use electric and that way I don't have to keep bringing my gas generator. So come inside and I'm going to show you what's the deal. We have an electrical service panel here. If you can see, I don't know how I need a little more light. This is a uh, old fashioned fuse box panel. You see the fuses here. Now I'm gonna warn everyone who's listening to me and who's looking at this video. Um, I don't want you to think that I'm, you know, that this is something that you can tackle. You should have a licensed electrician or be very well knowledgeable of the of the theory of, of of electrical circuitry and stuff because you don't need to be messing around with these service panels because the voltage that's coming through here could kill you this is serious stuff now, i feel comfortable with it because i've been in school i've uh i've been doing my research i've been reading my books and stuff so i feel comfortable to do this and if it seems like i'm making it easy it's because i'm i may not be showing you everything I'm just getting right to the point. But first, I just wanted to make sure that warning is out there. So if anyone looks at my video and thinks they're going to tackle this and get electrocuted and die, don't be calling me up about it. All right, now I got the electric turned off. <clears throat> and as you can see, we have total of about six fuses here with a main breaker and basically this old fuse panel is 60 amps that's gonna come out and we're gonna put a hundred amp in there so I'll show you the process of that but I just wanted to show you the before and after I may have to do something with this pipe here I think it's too tall it should be shortened to accommodate the size of the of the electrical service and it looks like what we got also is um a neutral bus bar here that's good you got your um hot wires there you can see and like i say here's your main there's your main fuse to turn in turn off to turn off this hot watt this um box That's that's some old wood back there. Don't worry about that. That's oh, that's the wood I brought from home. Okay, now what I was gonna say, yeah. So this is the um, main fuse. You just plug, put that right back in there. That's like your main shutoff fuse. If you had a breaker box, it'd be your main shutoff breaker. Um, so yeah, so I'll probably, I, I think I might have to change the wood back here to accommodate the size of the breaker. I have to shorten this pipe, um, put some grounding wires in here, uh, grounding conductors, let me use the proper terms. Um, and that looks like it should be sufficient. That's the old diagram. Not much to it. It's just out of cold. Minimum service has to be at least 100 amps. Okay, so I'll I'll show you some video as I keep moving. What else did I want to say? Was there anything else I need to say? That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Okay, here here is the 100 amp service panel. And we got it came with some breakers 30 amp breaker double pole single pole uh, breaker 15 amp and we got some 20s in here there's a 20 you didn't need these two of these for the kitchen it came with three so that's good I use one for the laundry might have to get another one I believe for the bath 
And here's inside the service panel it's by Siemens here. I think it's a good brand. There it is. So we got the that's one new one neutral bus bar. That should be enough. I this this panel was probably oversized for this house, but it was on sale and this room for expansion. You got twenty slots for your breakers. Here's your main your main breaker here for your whole house on the amps. So this will be a nice little project to do. This is the job for the day. Get this installed over there in that corner.